channel. <laughs> it's your boy Josh. This is JS Urban Adventures Review Stuff. And today I'm reviewing the Sea to Summit Thermalite Reactor Extreme Sleeping Bag Liner. Roll the intro. So like I was saying, welcome back. Newcomers and longtime subscribers alike. Well, as long as you can be, I guess. I'm not a very old channel. But um, thank you for coming back to the channel. Like I said, today I'll be reviewing Sea to Summit Reactor Extreme Thermalite Liner. Sea to Summit's a pretty well-known company and uh, they make a lot of different sleeping bag liners. Uh, sleeping bag liner, basically, um, meaning it, it goes inside your sleeping bag. It's like, uh, it's mummy shaped. Um, just like your sleeping bag is and um, this is the second to the warmest liner they offer they have a wool one that is the warmest one they offer but this is the second this is the reactor extreme it uses hollow core thermolite fiber threads which comes in three weights like I said this is the, uh, the second warmest there's the reactor uh, which uses 80 GM squared uh, type fibers then this one which is the 110 GM squared fibers and then the wool one is the warmest of all um, the hollow fiber threads let me take it out for you and show you so the hollow fiber threads are supposed to mimic the hollow fur of polar bears polar bears and caribou <laughs> so that's what it says on Amazon I'm just reading off Amazon, but um, yeah, so it mimics the fur of caribou and polar bear. Not in color though, I've never seen a red polar bear or a red caribou. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is a mummy, mummy shape. It does come with a cool uh, little drawstring, what do they call it, mini cord lock attached. Draw cord with a mini cord lock attached. I don't know how it locks. Well, oh, yeah, it's just a, a cord lock as in just one of these. You see that little bit of thread? I've had this thing since I believe December 11th, so I've had it for quite a while, and it's doing great for me. There's no holes in it, no rips, no tears. And the great thing about these is you can, uh, you, you put in your sleeping bag and you sleep in it, and that way um, you don't have to wash your sleeping bag as often. If you have a down sleeping bag, it's problematic to wash your sleeping bag. Um, I actually have a whole episode on washing a down sleeping bag. Uh, I don't know if it'll be out when this video drops, but it might be. If not, it'll be coming out soon. But um, to do that process of washing the down sleeping bag less and having to buy the special down detergent, et cetera, et cetera, go to the laundromat and uh, spend 22 quarters to dry a down sleeping bag, um, you use this, you can wash this thing, you know, once a week, and this thing just gets dirty. It keeps your sleeping bag from getting as dirty. I really like it a lot. Um, now, according, to, this is quoted from Amazon. According to Amazon, that it says, depending on the sleeping, depending on the sleep environment, this can increase your sleeping bag warmth by up to 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's crazy. I have a zero degree bag. That means I have negative 25 without my bivy sack, without my sleeping pad. Just my sleeping bag in this, negative 25. That's kind of crazy. I don't know how accurate that is, but I have used this and my zero degree sleeping bag at down to five degrees. Um, that night it was uh, in the teens, and and then for a, while, a couple hours it got down to eight, and the lowest it dropped that night, and it was like a blizzard. Um, the lowest it dropped that night was down to five degrees for just a little bit, but uh, it was mainly eight was the lowest, and then it was in the teens the rest of the night. Um, and I mean, with this, my sleeping bag, my, my mattress pad, my bivy sack, um, 
my booties, all that I've done reviews on on my channel. Uh, I was warm. I was warm and toasty. It's just getting in and out that really sucks um, in a blizzard or in snow or rain. It, it really sucks. But um, anyway, this uh, material, this hollow core thermolite fiber thread material that mimics caribou's and polar bears fur, it's a soft and stretchy fabric. Um, let's see, I went over the three weights, I went over the soft and stretchy, the, um, what else? Got the Glock, mummy, mummy style, there's not much more to say about this thing. I think I'm just going to keep this video short and sweet, guys. This is a great liner, keeps your sleeping bag clean. Oh, price point, oh yeah, this is why this thing gets like three stars instead of five stars, or maybe like a seven out of ten, $68. Did I just say $68? I'm sorry, it's $63. $63. Steep, I know. Steep, I know. But for 25 degrees of extra warmth, I mean, I, I haven't gotten cold in my sleep system yet. And I got to attribute a lot of that to this because lately that it's been getting warm, I actually have to not use this. I have to just use my sleeping bag because I got a zero degree sleeping bag. It's 30 degrees some nights now. Um, my sleeping bag alone, I'm sweating. So I got to take this thing out. So this is definitely for when you're gonna be doing some extreme winter stuff, um, when you're gonna be get, going outside sleeping at 10 degrees Fahrenheit, five degrees Fahrenheit, zero degree Fahrenheit is when you want something like this. If you're getting below that, maybe you wanna get the, the wool one, which I think is like $100. Um, but if you're not getting down that low, it gets increment, incrementally cheaper each step that you go down. Um, so the, the reactor, not the reactor extreme, just the reactor, uh, is like $20 less than this. The wool one is like $40 more than this. Um, and then actually it goes to, they have, um, I forget what it's called, but it's a uh, Sea to Summit uh, Cool Max. I believe it's called Cool Max. Um, and I might get one of those and try it out. Uh, what that is for when it's really hot outside, it does the opposite of this. It cools you off. It, it, you know, it feels nice and cool inside your sleeping bag, even when it's hot and sweaty and you know, uh, uh, humid outside. So uh, I, I might try one of those out. But um, for now, I got this thing. It's amazing, guys. It comes with the stuff sack. Oh yeah, size comparison. I didn't do the size comparison beforehand, so I'm gonna show you how easy this guy stuffs up into a stuff sack. And you see, if you watch all these videos of me, you know, you see all that's in my backpack and how compact it, it really gets um the last i gotta do a, a review of my backpack actually um but here we go 48 ounce lounging bottle see the summit thermolite reactor extreme sleeping bag liner there's our size comparison guys boom i love how everything everything gets down to this size or smaller like pretty cool um if you guys like my videos if you like this lifestyle that i lead um you know don't don't pity me or nothing i have money i have a job i can go get a hotel i can get an arbnb i have family that love me they would help me out if i really needed it i'm not i'm not hurting you know i'm doing pretty good uh i like my life i'm happy it's like an adventure to me that's why this is called js urban adventures if you like these videos make sure you throw me a thumbs up uh you know, uh, if you want to see more of these and you want to know every time that I make one, make sure you hit that bell. And last but not least, please, please, please hit where it says subscribe in red. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Tell your friends, hit that share button, drop it on your social media. Um, tell them, you know, hey, this guy's crazy. He's, he's homeless and he's, he's reviewing camping gear <laughs> and playing Dragon Ball cards. You know, go, go check out his channel. You know, let your friends know what's up. And uh, yeah, guys, so thanks for watching JS Urban Adventures Review Stuff. I'm Josh. Peace. Hey, before I forget to mention, I, Joshua Smith, do not get paid or endorsed by any of these companies that I review, do reviews on. So far, I don't. If I ever do get endorsed by a company, I will be sure to let you guys know at the beginning of the video. But. 
uh, from from here on forward, all my review videos, just know, you know, um, maybe I'll start saying something at the beginning, but I don't get paid by any of these companies. These are all my opinions, just what I think of using it. A lot of times, I may be biased because it's the only one I have. This is the only sleeping bag liner I've ever used, so there may be cheap, cheaper sleeping bag liners that are like 15 bucks that do the exact same thing this does. It's just as good, and I just don't know about it. So, um, yeah, just want to say that, guys. Don't get paid by these companies. Uh, don't get paid by YouTube at all. Um, but in the future, I will be working on my Patreon. I have a Patreon. It's JF Urban Adventures on Patreon. If you guys want to check it out, you can. I haven't really put any work or time into it yet. Um, so I don't really expect you guys to put any money into it yet. Uh, maybe, you know, if you are interested in doing that, the option's there. And uh, maybe in the future, I'll put more time into it. I'll make a video about it. But, yeah. Peace.